Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of LT Outdoors. Wow, that's just amazing. Oh, there's another sheep. Got it. Oh, he sucked that jig right up. Ooh, that's the fish. enjoy the show hello everybody and welcome to another episode of lt outdoors in this episode i'm going to do what i told you last night i was planning on doing i'm actually going to make a wild mushroom pasta out of all those mushrooms i found yesterday and i even found some more today that i threw in there so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this uh let me know what you think all right as you can see i've got them all cleaned up there might be a little dirt left on them, but I'm not worried. To me, that's nature's pepper. <laughs> but yeah, I got some whole good mix. In fact, today I even grabbed, I got a couple oyster mushrooms, which you might have seen some of them in some of my other videos. And I got some more uh, chanterelles. But yep, in this thing here, I've got, this is what I'm going to throw in the pan first. I like to throw the trumpets and chanterelles in, and I dry fry them for just a few seconds because they, they have a lot of moisture, so you kind of want to let them cook the moisture out of them, and then I'll throw the, some butter in there, and then I'll throw these guys in with them. So, yeah, as you can see, I got the crown tip coral, um, oyster mushrooms, lobster mushrooms. I just broke them into pieces to help clean. It's easier to clean them that way. Um, of course, I got the cinnabar chanterelles golden chanterelles the black trumpets so yeah this is going to be a good meal all right first thing i'm going to do here i got a pot of water i got the heat on i'm trying to boil it while i'm waiting for that to boil i'm going to turn the heat on this and i'm going to throw in my chanterelles and trumpets as you can see i got the golden chanterelles and uh, cinnabar chanterelles and black trumpets I'm gonna dry fry these just for a short bit here. I mean, it only takes maybe a minute, a couple minutes. You'll know because it's gonna uh, simmer. You're gonna see a whole bunch of liquid come out. I'm mean, not a ton, but you can hear it starting to simmer. But the liquid will come out and then you wait until the liquid's about done and then you throw in some butter, but I'll show you. See, as you can see, it's simmering not sticking if it didn't have liquid in it it'd be sticking to the bottom of the pan already but it's got it's got liquid so you want to kind of cook some of that liquid out which I'll tell you the whole house is gonna get a very strong sweet smell to it when these are cooking like I said the uh, chanterelles have like a strong apricot smell And of course they're going to shrink up some, just like mushrooms always do. Yeah, see it's already, the juices are already cooking out of them. But as soon as these juices have cooked down and the mushrooms start to stick, that's when I'll throw some butter in here and the rest of the other mushrooms. Yeah, it smells good already. Boy, look at all that liquid. Now the black liquid that you're seeing in there, or, you know, probably looks dark brown, that's coming out of the black trumpets. So don't worry about that. That's just what they do. They kind of stain. See, they're already cooking up real nice. They're going to be even better when I throw the butter in there. <laughs> Yeah, they're pretty good now. See, there's hardly any liquid. I don't want to let them get too far because they'll start sticking to the pan. And they'll burn. So what I'm going to do now, 
I'm gonna throw some butter. I already broke off a big chunk here. Throw some butter in there and I'm gonna throw the hedgehog mushrooms. Remember those with the little teeth at the bottom? Throw the hedgehog, the coral, lobster, and the oysters. I got two oysters. I'm just gonna let all these guys cook up. Yeah, that butter's cooking down nice. Now as they cook, I make sure you just keep on stirring them because once you let that moisture cook out of them, they will stick to the pan till at least you get till the butter gets nice and saturated anyway. Cut my oyster up there a little bit. Yeah, I got a nice little mix there. God's Kitchen never lets me down. Fish, game, mushrooms, you name it. Now I'm just gonna throw a little bit of salt in here. Don't really need it. I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of flavor on the mushrooms, but I like to salt just about everything. <laughs> yeah, they're cooking up nice, those lobster. Lobster mushrooms have kind of a tough texture, so you know they're starting to get cooked up when they're cutting up like that. Nice and easy. As you can see, everything's shrinking down. Even those corals are getting small. Might have looked like a ton of mushrooms, but I'll tell you what, when they cook down, you end up with not even half of what you think. That's okay. I got definitely just enough for a darn good meal for me and probably an extra one for tomorrow. Now always make sure your mushrooms are cooked too. I do not recommend, they say that some of them are safe for eating raw, but I mean, unless you're in a survival situation where you can't cook them, I don't, I don't recommend not, not cooking them. Oh yeah, these are all cooking up nice. All right, let's see, these guys are nice and done. Cause they're all getting flimsy and they're all getting nice and soft so what i'm gonna do now i'm actually gonna open up my jars i'm gonna turn the heat down first turn it down to about medium heat see today i got ragu the roasted garlic parmesan i'm gonna try that they didn't have usually i get this uh it's a mushroom mix and they didn't have it today at chris mart but I'm going to dump this right in there. I got two jars of it. I'm going to use both jars. Usually I get a big jar, but they didn't have that either. Yeah, there we go. Good thick sauce. Yeah. Now for those of you that's worried about being healthy, you could have drained the butter. <laughs> but for me, I'm not so worried about that. I've already lived kind of a crazy life. Yep, I'm going to just heat this all up real good. See the water's starting to boil there. I'm sure all of you that uh, are watching this know how to cook noodles, so... Shouldn't have to show you that part, but um, I'm going to use these actually. These are some of my favorites. I got them from a friend of mine. I don't even know where he got them, but these Spatzel Swabian egg noodles, these are really good. That's what I'm going to use today. I love egg noodles. Yep, make sure too, for those of you that's never made sauce or anything, make sure you keep it stirred. I mean, you can take a break from time to time, but don't give it too long because once it starts getting hot, it will stick. It will clump up. See, I see that butter in there, and I don't look at it as fat. I look at it as deliciousness. <laughs> don't take long to heat the sauce up, especially when the pan was already really hot. All right, water's good and boiling. Dump me some noodles in there. Make 
sure you get them all nice and stirred too. Multitask. <laughs> all right, now these mushrooms, mushrooms and the sauce is all done. I can tell it's been boiling a little while. So I'm just gonna shut that off. I'm actually gonna pull it off with the heat too. Otherwise I gotta worry about it sticking. And then I'll just worry about the worry about the noodles. Just make sure you stir them every couple minutes. And you'll know when they're done because they get nice and limp. Alright guys, these noodles, as you can see, they're all nice and limp now. They're not they're not tough and crunchy like they were when I threw them in. So now what I'm gonna do. I'm going to shut the heat off. I'm going to dump the noodles into the strainer. Let's be careful, that steam is hot. And then, I'm going to dump them right in with the mushroom sauce. stir all around <laughs> tell me that don't look delicious like I said I usually use a mushroom sauce but I'll tell you what I love par parmesan garlic too so I'm not complaining I think this is gonna be excellent yep and this is a pretty good sized batch I'll probably have enough for a couple more meals so that's good well, I hope you guys enjoyed this mushroom episode. Um, I sure enjoy hiking. I love getting out in the woods. You just never know what you're going to see. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, you know, my recipe too. Uh, I'll tell you what, it sure looks good. It is hard to beat a nice mix of wild mushrooms. Nature always provides. God's kitchen is the best place to get yourself a good meal. He never lets me down, whether it's hunting, fishing, I can always come back with something to eat. Mmm. Those noodles are done just right for me too, because I know there's like the term al, da al dente, whatever. I don't know what all that stuff means, but I like them when they're not, when they're, they've still got some chewiness to them. That's perfect. <laughs> so, yeah, garlic, parmesan, wild mushrooms right there.